Yes. So, uh, you know how we went to Trader Joe's yesterday? Uh-huh. And we were going to pick out, uh, you know, some snacks to do a video with? Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't uh, think I picked out any snacks yesterday. Uh-huh, what's your point? Um, I'm pretty sure you picked them all. Uh-huh, what's your point? So, maybe I could do the intro to that video? Sure. <laughs> Welcome to today's video. My name is Courtney. And I'm Alex. And if this is the first video that you're joining us for, hi, hello, and welcome. If not, welcome back. Um, but yeah, okay, so I'm I'm personally very excited that we finally get to start on the fall related things. Um, I personally, I think that means I should get to decorate for Halloween now. She's going to do it anyway. So <laughs> I don't really I have a choice here, to be honest with you. Okay, no. Um. But yeah, so there is a ton of interesting and fun fall-related stuff out for the season. Uh, so we thought we would take one for the team, as we tend to like to do, and taste test a bunch of that stuff. So this will not be the only fall-related taste testing video, but we are starting here. We are starting with Trader Joe's. I also, um, I was scrolling Instagram, so we did the shopping for this video, and then I scrolled Instagram after and found out right after that they'd be releasing even more stuff for fall so that's unfortunate in the sense that it means that like we may have to do a part two but like it also means we may have to do a part two so yeah um but without further ado i think we should jump into it and do some taste testing and uh see what's good from uh Drader joe's have a nice trip see you next fall So I did, I did do um, a Trader Joe's fall taste test last year, or it might have even been the year before. I don't know, either way, I did like a whole two-part Trader Joe's fall taste test. So this is stuff that is new that I did not try in those videos. Well, maybe not necessarily new, but I didn't try then, and there's still a handful of stuff. So we are starting with the pumpkin tortilla chips. It says they're crafted with simple ingredients including pumpkin, puree, pumpkin seeds, cinnamon, and nutmeg. My only personal comment is I feel like the image on the front of the bag is blurry. Like, is it just me or is it blurry? No, it is. It looks like uh, the chips are super, like, pixelated, especially, like, on a zoomed-in picture of them. Yeah. Oh, either way. Let's try them. Ooh. You get, like, that smell as if, like, you uh, just opened, like, a pumpkin pie seasoning. Oh, yeah, but tortilla chips. Mm -hmm. It's got, like, the corn tortilla chip smell as well. It's, like, a little darker. It almost looks like um, a Cool Ranch Dorito. You're not wrong. That's good crunch, I'll tell you that. It's a very subtle taste of whatever the pumpkin cinnamon, nutmeg, spices that they threw on these chips. It's very subtle. Mm -hmm. um, you definitely taste it, but it's not overpowering. I don't know why I think I was in expecting an intense flavor on in your tongue. Like, I was expecting there'd be a lot of seasoning, but it's not. It is a very subtle flavor. I'm just, I'm interested what they expect you to have with this, because by themselves, they're not my favorite. Like, I wouldn't sit there and just eat this by themselves. I think they're lacking a little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. But... They're really good, so I don't. I feel like these would be absolutely delicious if you had some sort of like cinnamon sugar cream cheese. Ooh, like or even like um, this would be really good with um, Nutella, something like that, like a chocolate, oh, yeah. like a chocolate hummus dip. Yeah. Um, I would not recommend eating these with like regular salsa. That might taste a little odd. Yeah, I agree. I don't think it, I don't think it would be a good combo, but I think with like something on the sweeter side, it mm -hmm. would be good. Or even like a pineapple salsa, it would probably be pretty good with. I'm gonna give this one a seven. And then I'm gonna go with a six, just because I want a little more salt. Fair enough. All right. So next up is one that I thought was really interesting. I feel like there are a lot of things that are like repeats when it comes to fall stuff, or like a lot of things that are just either pumpkin flavored or pumpkin pie. So even though it's not totally different, I do appreciate this is pecan pumpkin instant oatmeal. A delightful holiday oatmeal made with whole grain oats, pecans, and pumpkin. So I don't know, we'll see. But I like the addition of the pecan in there. 
Because non-seasonally, like cinnamon obviously is a huge flavor with oatmeal. Yeah. So I'm wondering how these differ from like a normal cinnamon oatmeal. All right, I'm gonna go make this and I'll be right back. I just wanna know why it is. It's not even October yet. She's doing witch things. I would like to know, though, why almost every single oatmeal packet calls for more water than it actually requires. Like, I had to cook this longer so that the water would, you know, absorb. Um, it also exploded a little in the microwave. It goes... It smells like one of my friend's houses growing up. Mmm. It smells like one of those, um pumpkin spice candles that people have around during the holidays. Ooh, I like that. I'm not sure I get um, a lot of the pumpkin flavor. I feel like I'm getting more like of a brown sugar flavor in it, but this is really good. I get a lot of the nutmeg and mm -hmm. other flavors. I like that because I still, I do get a bit of a pumpkin, but I like that it is a good mixture of like pumpkin, nutmeg, cinnamon. I wish there was more of the pecan pieces. I wish they were a bit bigger because I think what happens is that when they cook in the microwave, they absorb some of the water so they get a little soft. It gets a little Whereas soggy. Whereas I yeah. would like if they were more on the crunchy side, right. like if they had put them in little packets for you to pour on top, I think that'd be better. Ooh. Like I think I'll probably, when I eat this just like regularly, like the rest of the packets, I'll probably chop up some walnuts. Smart. And add, and some add them on top so to there's it. some actual mm -hmm. crunch. Yeah. Smart. But that's really good. I like it. Yeah, that. I really like this too. Um, I wish that they had this year round because I would eat this all the time. Yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised so. because sometimes pumpkin things can be overpowering mm -hmm. where this is a good mix of all of the spices. I'm going to give it one more taste before I give it a rating. Because I'm going to go with an 8 out of 10. I am an oatmeal fan. Um, I do quite enjoy oatmeal. When it's good though, like if it's boring and doesn't have enough sweetness or flavor, I'm out. This is good. Yeah, like as a kid, I really enjoyed the um, the oatmeal that had the little dinosaur eggs that would like break open. Those were my I favorite. I never had those, oh, but those I, know, I know they were popular. They were super good. Um, I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. I Hell really, yeah. I really, really like these. Nice. You know what would be really good in it too? Slice up chunks of apple. Ooh. I think it would be delicious. Yeah, or some banana. Yeah. Just fruit yeah. in general, like um, adding a little bit extra crunch. Yeah, because obviously, like, the pairing of, uh, like, brown sugar and apple yeah. works really well. Well, and apple's like a fall. And pecan and apple works yeah. really well together, yeah. too. So it's like, this would, yeah, and adding so some fresh fruit and, and some crunch. Oh, yeah. This would, yeah. This this one was one of our favorites so far, I think. Ooh, I'm glad you like it, because then, like, mm. on a Sunday morning, if we want breakfast, Ooh. it's easy, and it's cold. Breakfast, man. Love it. For our third fun fall pumpkin treat, we chose Bamba Puffed. Peanut and corn snacks. I like the packaging, it's fun. Me too. I like Bamba a lot. I'm pretty sure that um, the brand Bamba is an Israeli brand because I've had them before and it comes in like all different sorts of flavors like cheese and other things like that. It's really tasty, I love oh. Bamba. All right, let's try it. Let's do it. Ooh. Oh. Super peanut buttery. It's like as if um, a corn chip, sorry, a cheese doodle and uh, peanut butter met and had a baby. This is what it would be. Super light, very airy. I get it. I understand it. I don't think it's for me. Like they're good. They're light and airy, crunchy, peanut buttery, salty, sweet. But just like not personally for me and I like peanut butter like I'm somebody who I could just eat like a straight spoonful of peanut butter this just isn't they're good though mm. it's just not for me I understand that they're definitely like um it's an acquired taste I feel like they're not like these are definitely not for everybody yeah but they are good so I'm gonna mm -hmm. give them a 7 out of 10 I'm also gonna give them a 7 it's turtle time Ooh, I'm excited for these these tangy turtle tart and sweet gummy candies. Okay, so obviously they're technically not um, a fall item, but I've never seen them before. That doesn't mean they're necessarily new. I've just never seen them before, and I like doing Trader Joe's taste testing videos. So since they've never been in the one, here they are. And they're also shaped like turtles too. There was another new candy too, but we chose this one. We chose this one. There are three distinct colors of the turtle. 
green and yellow, the pink and purple, and the red and orange. They're really cute. My purple one's my favorite so far. Yeah, so the, the three, my favorite is the purple and pink one. Those are um interesting. They're different. Yeah, they're um they're like blasted with like the little sugar crystals. And so it like that's what gives it like the tartness, I think. It gives it an interesting flavor. But um I don't know, there's something off about them. Well I think the okay, so I think the white part is like more of like a creamier gummy flavor and then the yeah. colored parts are more like tangier gummy mm -hmm. flavors. It seems like they're kinda like two different things. Like the white's part like the base. But there is there's something like kind of off about them. Like the flavor is nice. All mix. Yeah, it's almost just kind of odd or like there's like an off flavor. It almost tastes like maybe they're like a little healthier. It could be just a Trader Joe's brand candy and they just Went for something that was a little bit more on the um, less, like, uh, bad for you side. Yeah, definitely not my favorite thing we've tried so far. Uh-uh. I'm going to go with a six. I'm going to give it a six as well. I was going to go with a five, but I think that's a little too low. And I did like the flavor of the actual, like, gummy top, so I'm going to give it the six. Yeah, and it's still candy. Yeah, so. and we love candy. Last, but not least... All right, we got some pumpkin flavored JoJo's, pumpkin flavored sandwich cream cookies with other natural flavors. So I feel like this is kind of just like the quintessential fall item. They're, it's Trader Joe's version of Oreos. It's their pumpkin flavor. I just feel like we were mildly obligated. Kind of contractually obligated. Yeah. If you may. Wait, you're not supposed to tell them about the dating contract that you signed. Ooh, you really get that pumpkin smell. The cookies mm. look kind of thick. Like the cookies themselves. That's a thick old cookie. They smell like um the same cookies. Like it has like that same smell of like the waffle cone cookie that we had in the Neapolitan Oreos. They smell like this pumpkin roll that my mom and I used to make growing up. Now that I've been into it, I know exactly what this tastes like to me. It tastes like golden gram. I'm oh, sorry, not golden grams. It tastes like teddy grams. Oh, you mean ooh, like the cookie? Mm hmm. Yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah, it tastes just like the teddy grams. It does. It has a very strong cinnamon flavor. Mm hmm. The cream on the inside is really soft. Like, if you're not careful, you could like easily squish it out the sides. And it's, it's very soft. subtle. Yeah, it's and not overpowering. Mm -hmm. It's a good flavor. The cookie's not as crispy, though, as it could be. It's not as crunchy. Yeah. It's a little soft. It's good, though. I really like it. Um, I'm not, like, a massive pumpkin fan, so this isn't something I would, like, seek out and buy. But if you are, I feel like it would be. I mean, I feel like it's, like, okay, for me personally, would I pry it and eat it? No. I'd give it, like, on a personal level, like, a six. But for what it is is if i were to recommend people who like something like this to buy it i'd give it an eight if that makes sense you know it definitely does um yeah it, again like if you like pumpkin and you like dessert like it's a really nice grab and go little dessert mm -hmm. something to have in the house kids like it easy um i'm gonna give it a seven it's not my personal favorite but again i do like it and like, we recognize that other people would like it. Yeah, it's definitely something that, like, you have, like, an itch for. You could find it, and it's here. Yeah. I like this, though. I would love, though, to see them do, like, because pumpkin is such an almost overly done flavor at this point when it comes to fall, I would love to see them try something else. Like, how cool would, like, an apple cider donut JoJo be? Right? Ooh. Right? Um, Oreo did those, I'm pretty sure, at one point, but I don't think they're back this year. This year, they have back um, their pumpkin, and then they just brought back their, like, Brookio, which is, like, the brownie Oreo in um, cookie dough. Okay, so this final item is obviously 100% not fall-related. It is just a general Trader Joe's item, um, but I have seen a multitude of people on the interwebs post about and talk about how good these things are so they are crispy onion chips 
Um, the process used to create these very crispy onion chips maintains all the flavor and provides an irresistible snack that makes you want to keep munching. Um, I've heard the smell is just like, whew, but the taste is just, hmm. so we go, we go try it out. We go see. Oh, it reminds me of like fried onions. Like an Ooh, onion ring. Yeah, it does. It smells like, like an a, onion um, ring. Like an onion petal. Oh, yeah, like a bloomin' mm -hmm, onion. Like a bloomin oh, onion, yeah. I love bloomin' onion. Down under. We're going down under. Like, you can, like, subtly tell that it's got, like, the texture of an onion. It. Is it not onion pieces? Oh. I mean, it is. Are they not just, like, it is. shipped onion? It is. it is. Okay. Yeah, so, like, look, you can, like, if you can see that, there's, like, subtle ridges inside of it. Because it's like dehydrated onion almost. It's exactly like what it is. Oh, it's like a fish cake. It's like a fish chip that you get like at like um. Like a shrimp chip. Yeah, like a shrimp chip. Exactly. It's got like the same consistency of a, tri but, of a shrimp but chip. But put the whole thing in your mouth. It's pretty good. Mm, I don't like that when you re-wet it. Ooh. It has like an onion texture. Yeah, it gets like. Like, if you don't eat that all in, like, a couple of chews, it gets very, um... Oniony? No, it gets very, like, um... Like, stringy. Like, stringy and, like, um... Like, gooey, almost. Not gooey, um, like, uh... I'm trying to think of the word. Uh, yeah, slimy. There it is, yeah. Slimy, like, very, like, thick... Tasting. If that had the texture of a shrimp chip through and through and was just light, airy, and crunchy, that would be flipping delicious. Because it is, it's quite tasty. It's just an onion, but it has salt on it, which adds a little something to it. But I don't know if I can get past the texture of, like, when it gets wet, it's, like, slimy. See, that one I just ate was a little smaller, and it didn't turn into that when I bit into it. So the smaller chips are good, but the real big ones... Uh, these would be good on like I think they should have added something to it. I think they should have added like garlic and parsley. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely missing flavors. Um this would be good on something that if you didn't want to put like whole onions, you could use like onion chips Ooh, or like on a salad, like on a casserole, a salad. Yeah, instead of like the onion yeah. straws, you could use these for sure. I I like the taste of it. It's definitely obviously very onion forward. Um <laughs> really. But that like consistency of it just past. kind of brings this down when I'm going to give this a four. And I feel like I just ate a straight onion. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I'm gonna, I don't I'm like gonna, that. I'm going to give it a five because you can do stuff with it and it doesn't, it, it, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So with that being said, we would love to know if you have tried any of this stuff, what your thoughts, feelings, hopes, and ambitions are. Um, no, but for real, if you have tried any of this, please let us know. If you'd be interested in seeing us do a part two where we try some of the other stuff that Trader Joe's is going on for fall this year, please let us know because we will happily do so. Um, but with that, we thank you so much for watching. If you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe, it simultaneously helps to support me in the channel, but also helps you to stick around for the next video. And uh, yeah, we hope you have a wonderful day and thank you again. Bye-bye.